Oh my goodness, guys. Talk about a bloodbath for the stock market today. And it's not over yet. It's not over yet. We still have 15 minutes left of trading. But as of now, the NASDAQ's down over 3.3%. The Russell's down 3.5%. The S&P's down 32 And the Dow Jones is down 2.8%. But the thing is, guys, the crazy thing is earlier in the day, things were way worse. In the pre-market, the NASDAQ was down 6%, the S&P down 4 or 5%, and the VIX, are you guys ready for this? It was up 170%, which is like, what the heck? It's like a what the F type of moment, right? So we're going to break down what's going on, the charts, why are we selling off, my thoughts, and of course, what I'm looking to do. So guys, jam-packed video, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and there's no other way to make today's bloodbath better than by getting your up to 20 stocks for Moomoo. You might as well, guys. It's free money with at least a $100 deposit. Use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo. We'll talk more about that later. And now let's get into it because again, today was one for the history books, folks. We saw again the VIX up 170% in the pre market, and now it's up 65%, a casual 65% in the green for the VIX. As, like I said, the S&P looking at SPY was down big time in the pre-market. We were at 507 to give you guys perspective. Now we're at 515 with about 15 minutes left of trading on the day. And Triple Q was down to around 420 on the dot, it looks like. Now we're at 433, and we're still down 3.3%. So, yeah, we got destroyed. We continued the downtrend, obviously, on the five-day, five-minute on Triple Q and on SPY. And, guys, look at the chart here on the VIX. I mean, this is scary. The VIX got to 65 points in the pre-market, which is by far and away a high on the three-year chart, obviously on the one-year chart as well. And on the max chart, you, uh, do you guys want to see something crazy? This is nowhere near the all-time high on the VIX. We hit 85 points on the VIX back in April of 2020. We hit 89 points in 08, right, during the crash, and 172 points in 1987, which... Oh, yeah, 1987, guess what? The Japanese stock market had the worst day on record since 1987 today. So, yeah, we'll talk a little bit about that later in the video, guys. But, yeah, talk about a bloodbath. Talk about a big spike on the VIX. This chart right here on the VIX looks very scary. Now we're at 38 points. Earlier, we were at 65 points. And let me just show you guys these four-hour charts on SPY and Triple Q. Now it looks like we're really in free fall mode, right? We're down to 515 on SPY, officially down almost 10%, almost in correction territory, where the NASDAQ pretty much got in a bear market earlier today, guys. We hit 420 in the pre-market. That was 17 points or 17 percentage points down from the 505 all-time high. So the NASDAQ almost got into a bear market today, guys, which is just insane. And some stocks on my watch list that are getting hit aggressively, NVIDIA down 7%. Earlier, it was down 13%. Apple, I'm sure you guys saw the news at this point with Apple. Warren Buffett sold nearly half of his stake as we just got Berkshire's earnings a couple days ago. So that's a big story, right? Apple's tanking 6% right now. Palantir, which is about to report earnings later today after the bell in about a half hour, which we'll cover, by the way. This is down 3%, but earlier in the day, guys, we were at 20 bucks per share. So at one point, Palantir was down 16% in the pre-market, which is just bonkers, right? I think Robinhood, which I covered in my free email this morning, which, by the way, sign up. First link down below, I send my top three stocks 
every single Monday morning to my email list for free. Again, sign up, first link down below. Robinhood was in there, and it was down 20% in the pre-market at one point. Now we've recovered, but still down 9% ahead of earnings that are coming out here in a couple of days. It looks like in two days after the bell on Wednesday. So let me show you guys a little bit of what is going on. What sparked this sell-off is really what we got on Friday, the economic data. You guys probably remember we got, and by the way, don't forget to get your free stocks for Moomoo down below. On Friday, we got the unemployment number and the non-farm payrolls, right? We got the jobs numbers and the unemployment data, right? And guess what? The labor market is looking pretty pretty weak right now and the unemployment rate shot up from like 4.2 4.3% to now 4.7%. So now people are questioning like wait a second, did the Fed wait too long to cut rates? Should they have cut rates before? Uh, because let's be honest, the Fed, they won't, I guess, directly say this in, in a way, but they do want the unemployment rate to go up, right? They want the jobs market to, to chill out a bit so then they could cut rates. They didn't want to cut rates prematurely, uh, but now a lot of people are like, we need an emergency rate cut. You didn't cut rates soon enough. You should have done it. It's too late. And you know a lot of uh, a lot of panic is 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 on Wall Street between uh, you know Wall Street, Main Street, retail investors, the big boys. There's a lot of selling. The VIX is up. There's a reason why the VIX was up as much as it was. So that's the main thing right now, right? Did they wait too long? Are we gonna get an emergency rate cut? What the heck's going on, right? So we can see here on this article, some of the biggest companies got destroyed. We talked about these from NVIDIA to Apple to Berkshire. Crypto, although we don't talk much about crypto here on the Stocks Talk Stocks channel. Uh, crypto, Bitcoin, did not do well. We had Bitcoin get destroyed to the low 50,000 level. I think yesterday at one point, Ethereum was down like 20%. Oh my goodness, guys. And we can see here, the concerns have spread throughout the world. Traders in Asia greeted the week with a similar sell-off as Japan's Nikkei uh, um, 225. Can I freaking talk today, guys? Was routed by more than 12%. I love when they use uh, routed. That's a funny term there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> routed by more than 12% in its biggest ever daily loss after a surprise interest rate hike from the Bank of Japan last week. Wait a second. They hiked interest rates in Japan? Oh my goodness. That's news to me right there. Uh, but yeah, the sharp rise in the Japanese yen against the U.S. dollar has spurred heavy selling as speculators who, who had borrowed money at Japan's needs, uh, near 0% interest rate to buy U.S. Uh, risk assets have been liquidating their holdings. That's another thing, right? So, yeah, there's a lot going on. Japan's crashing. I was reading in, uh, in another article that this is the worst day since Black Monday, uh, since the 1987 crash, which is crazy. We saw the VIX, how the chart was looking back in 1987. So, yeah, guys, very, very rough times that we're in right now. But with it being an election year, in my humble opinion, and there is a chart that I'll show maybe in another video, stocks usually do well during election years. I feel like we're going to rebound. This is just a short-term blip, short-term uh, panic, if you will, in the stock market. But ultimately, as we get closer to November, to December, I'm thinking... We're going to get that rally, right? That's just my opinion. Call me crazy. This is uh, just a much-needed sell-off in the overall stock market. And it's not like we've erased the gains for the entire year, guys. I mean, for Pete's sake, the s and is still above where it was in early May. It still is above where it was in early May. So relax. That was just three months ago. This is not a full-blown crash by any means, uh, but it is a sizable correction. That it is. It is It is a sizable correction. And for me, guys, what have I been buying? For all of you that stuck till the end, what have I been buying? Well, 
there's a couple of things. VTI right off the bat. VTI is the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index ETF. This covers every stock in the United States stock market, right? From large caps to small caps to mid caps. Number one, right off the bat, this is what I've been buying. I bought more today, right? Like I do pretty much every single week, especially when we're crashing or seeing some selling like we're seeing right now. I'm also buying Nvidia stock. This thing got down to $90 today. I did not buy at 90 bucks, but Best believe, guys, I'm going hard here in the mid-90s, and if it comes down, even more. So NVIDIA, I'm buying. Amazon, I'm buying. AMZN, which today got hit uh, not too bad, I guess, at the close, which we're about to close in five minutes. It's only down 5%. <clears throat> not the end of the world, but earlier it did get down to about 151. So I am buying more Amazon. McDonald's is kind of a safe haven stock right now. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but McDonald's, yeah, it's down 3% today, but it has not participated in the overall stock market sell-off. In fact, it's been going up as the entire stock market has been selling off. So McDonald's is one that I'm buying. I actually bought before earnings about 10 days ago in the low 250s. Now we're at 268. So I'm looking to average up on my McDonald's. I think this is quote unquote a safer play right now. Um, a lot of people are hiding out in these Dow Jones stocks, guys. You know, McDonald's is doing pretty well. Pfizer's holding up decent. Uh, that's one worth watching as well. But yeah, man, talk about a bloodbath, a historic day in the stock market today. And honestly, even though we're down over 3% on all the indexes, except for the Dow, which it's almost down 3%, Today wasn't that bad. We actually, I mean, don't get me wrong. It, it was bad, no doubt. It, obviously, it was bad. But the fact that we have recovered a lot throughout the day is actually a pretty good sign. We can see SPY is up around $10 off the lows or about 1.6%. And Triple Q is also up a good chunk. You guys can see it's up from 420 now to 434 up around 4% off the lows not bad. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Run the likes up and make sure to subscribe and get up to 20 stocks from Moomoo Moo with at least a $100 deposit and your uninvested cash will earn up to 8.1% for a limited time, which guys, the clock's ticking. So use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo. Get your money. And with that being said, cheers. I'll catch you guys in the next video.